I purchased a used car hauler that I thought would come in handy and it was structurally uh, well built and I thought I could clean it up and repaint it and get it back on the road. So I want to share my experience. I'm not a professional. I do this for a hobby and um, I started uh, cleaning up the trailer. I took off the plywood in the middle. I put expanded metal. I put a uh, Harbor Freight toolbox with the, with the Harbor Freight winch on the front and uh, I fabricated the uh, platform that it's on. It has to be welded on really well. Um, I knew the trailer was missing something. I was going to keep it red, but it was really dull and faded. Uh, I decided to paint it a satin black. Uh, so the initial steps were uh, to put it on jack stands, remove the tires, and start pressure washing it and getting uh, scrub brushes with uh, water and Dawn soap. And I found Dawn soap is a good degreaser and it's affordable and um, and it cleans your uh, your projects uh, really well and it's a good degreaser. So um, pressure washing it each step, it was looking a little better each time. Um, you know, throughout the years, you know, trailers can get neglected and um, they kind of get forgotten about and um, tires get aged. So I had to put new tires. I got the tires from Amazon uh, I like the white rims. It's a six lug and from the factory it has like a little pinstripe around the perimeter uh, of the of the wheel. It's like a red and blue pinstripe. So I wanted to keep that original. So I tried to clean up the rims the best I could and uh, I continued to scrub the trailer and degrease it and um, I knew there was just a lot of contaminants and old oil and um, just you know dirt in different areas, hidden areas, and repainting the trailer. Um, all that grease has to be completely removed, otherwise you're just gonna have some problems with your paint bubbling up, fisheye and stuff like that. So um, along with the cleaning process, um, it was just hard to get underneath the trailer. Um, you know, it just, uh, that was one of the difficult things. Um, time consuming, um, it just took a lot longer to uh, do each phase of this uh, restoration project because um, even though it just looks like a simple two ramp uh, car hauler um, there's so much metal and um, I underestimated uh, the amount of uh, work involved on uh, on every step of this uh, of this project um, I tried to do it in one day um, which I did have to go back the following day to do some touch-ups um, which I'll show later in the video but um, we finally got to the point where we're uh, sanding it down. So um, we're using a combination of different grit sandpapers, um, more, more so um, some areas 220, 320. Um, the, I didn't go any finer sandpaper. Um, I used somewhat of an industrial single stage paint. <clears throat> and um, you know, I wasn't really too worried if it was gonna leave any scratch marks. Um, which it didn't, which I was happy with that. Um, certain areas where the paint, the paint was uh, uh, chipping or flaking off and there was a little bit of exposed metal, I hit that with the wire wheel. And, um, you know, I just didn't want to have any problems with the uh, uh, paint, you know, cracking on me, um, you know, after it was painted. So uh, it has to be thoroughly cleaned and uh, any old chip paint has to come off and uh, a wire wheel was effective on that and um, I discovered a couple of dents on the fender I didn't want to put Bondo so I just got the uh, hammer and dolly kit it's a Harbor Freight kit and uh, I was able to hammer out the little dings the best I could it was nothing nothing drastic and um, you know it was a little bit time consuming um, you know trying to uh, smoothen out the metal and uh, you know, it was somewhat successful, not perfect, but uh, um, probably time consuming Bondo wise, um, it would have just probably taken a little bit longer. So um, we just kept it all steel, no no Bondo, and, um, and it seemed to work out okay. And um, after the uh, somewhat bodywork was done, um, before the paint, we did another degrease with the Dawn soap and water, and that time we used a um, a Scotch Brite 
green scotch brite pad and um it just with all the sanding and sanding the uh the paint it just gets in all the little grooves and stuff so um the uh blowing it out with the air compressed air uh did work but uh we just decided to wash the trailer one more time do a final degrease uh before we get it ready for paint and any um accessories like the tail lights and um some trailer hitch accessories uh i either removed them or masked them up anything i didn't want to get paint on and um here i come up probably yep getting ready to mix the paint and i used the uh, amazon product um speed coat hot rod black and i've used this before and it's um, a single stage it's a four to one mixture it was about 150 bucks and um you use four parts paint and one part activator and um uh, and it's um to me it's almost equivalent to uh, to like a rust-oleum although this is not an oil-based paint but um this may be a little bit thinner i'm sure it's better quality because uh, it's a lot more expensive but um it it comes up to a, a satin finish um i decided to use a transtar direct to metal primer on uh, some exposed metal areas and i thought at this point doing this much work to the trailer uh any exposed metal that was sanded down and we sanded down to the metal had to be covered with the primer and uh, after we did that uh, we were working in 100 degree weather it was uh really hot this day in uh, central california but um uh it was a little bit difficult working with the paint and the uh metal due to the heat the metal was was pretty hot and uh ideally that metal you know should have been cool so i could tell that the uh the paint products were were drying a little bit too fast so it was uh it was a little bit challenging there um on this uh primer uh dtm primer transtar um it's a four to one ratio four parts paint one part activator and uh i used uh, one part uh, reducer slow reducer and it turned it into somewhat like a primer sealer um, here i am mixing the paint after the uh primer i used one quarter primer on the trailer and the paint is um was also like i said a four to one ratio and um no reducer is uh applied to this paint and it's a real thin paint so uh you don't even want to add any type of reducer and um both the primers and the and the paint my uh, psi on my harbor freight gun was about 28 psi and uh test your fan pattern make sure you get a good spray and uh so um painting the metal on the trailer was difficult because there's so many angles so many hidden spots and uh even with the expanded metal on the top of the trailer in between the two ramps um i could tell i was using a lot of paint to to get coverage in these odd areas um you know so i was just repetitiously going over certain areas because it just uh with like the, the, the expanded metal it has all the slots and the paint uh was just a little bit hard to um to get uh, an even coat and it was looking kind of cloudy so i had to go back over that a couple of times and um so like i said before this project uh i underestimated how much work was involved um i knew that um uh, taking it to a shop and having them paint the trailer um would have been way too expensive for me to pay um you know it wouldn't have been it even have been worth it uh that's why on the road you see a lot of trailers they they're neglected and they just you know they use them for its intended purpose but you know at the same time if uh you know it's it's nice to have a, a clean trailer if you're taking a car to a car show or something you know it just uh um i don't know if it makes a statement but it just uh it just looks better and um you know along with the uh trailer restoration process uh and i put the tires on the on the on the trailer i also did uh wheel bearing and seals at the same time 
you know, because, uh, you know, you get a, a trailer with old wheels and, you know, the odds are that the, that the wheel bearings have never been re-greased and maintenance. And so I figured that, you know, now was a good time to, to take care of those issues and, uh, and a couple of little wiring issues. And it just seems like trailers, uh, require a lot of maintenance, you know, or upkeep. You just really got to take care of them and, and, uh, you know, stay on top of them, uh, almost, almost like a car. And, um, here I am coming up towards the tail end of the painting. And, um, I ended up using about three quarters of a gallon of paint overall. And, um, which is not too bad. Um, I realized I was wasting too much paint on the screen and there was some cross members on the bottom. So <clears throat> I decided just to go back the next day and get a, uh, Rust-Oleum Rattle Can Satin Black and underneath um, the red cross uh, support tube, uh, square tubing, um, the the red bars underneath the screen, there's about five of them. I wasn't getting good coverage. There was still some red showing. So I just went underneath the trailer the following day <clears throat> and I just hit those with the, with the rattle can uh, just to get the red away and it blended in perfect. It looked nice. And uh, I've even seen some videos of trailers, complete car trailers being painted uh, by rattle can. Um, that would just be way too much work for me. Um, but um, anyhow, on this project uh, with the Harbor Freight uh, HBLP spray gun and the um, single stage satin black paint, uh, overall it, it came out nice. We're happy with it. And um, you know the 320 grit this is like more of an industrial paint uh, no sanding scratches were, were visible and uh, this is where i'm underneath the trailer with the rattle can and there's those uh, square tubing cross members and i just simply just got uh, uh, some rattle can and i was able to hit any of the uh, oddball areas that i was uh, not able to catch uh, with the uh, with the hblp spray gun and um, you know, it was just so much easier um, um, than to uh, have to go there under there with the uh, HBL spray gun. I don't have the right uh, uh, connectors to uh, uh, to swivel the the hose, and um, I reattached all my accessories and um, cleaned my wheels with uh, with just some wax I found in the in the shed, and uh, just to kind of brighten up the wheels. And I'm gonna put some armor on the tires and uh, overall I'm happy with the project. Um, it was just uh, extremely a lot more work than what I had expected, but um, it was well worth it. And uh, you can just do it in your own garage or your backyard. Save yourself a bunch of money. Uh, the paint overall was $150. I used a quarter primer and I used uh, two rattle cans. Uh, so overall in materials, it was about uh, under $200. Um, some accessories for the trailer, like the winch and the toolbox, uh, that can get expensive, although I did get it at Harbor Freight using the 20-25% coupons. Um, but, um, you know, um, overall, um, there it is. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching and uh, good luck on your project.